Hey Savvy people, it's Savvy Nick here and today I'm going to be reviewing Linux Lite 4.6. I'm excited this is a brand new release here. I believe it was released on August 31st, 2019. I uh, just got my hands on it today and I'm just going to kind of go through and look at the desktop environment since I've never actually used it. I've heard very good things about it and that it's very Windows user friendly. So let's go and look around. I really like the background, it's kind of cool. It's got this uh, feather, or what I assume is a feather here in the middle. A uh, nice cool background, kind of like some stacked, well I don't even know what those are, but it's really cool. And laced and stacked up on top of each other. Uh, user files here, what's this look like? Uh, looks very much like File Explorer and Windows. You got your downloads, music, pictures, public, all the typical folders and even desktops. So it's pretty cool. Very, very similar to layout. It's got the network section, places, devices, even very similar names to Windows. I like that. It really makes it easier for Windows users to just hop on and start going right away. Uh, called the settings control panel just like it is in Windows that's really cool too yeah, kind of the same layout here as far as file explorer goes recycle bin Let's see what the network settings look like eh, very similar to help manual this PC System. So let's see what we have in the menu. I do like the tones here. The color looks really good. It's uh, now apparently has two different themes, a light theme and a darker theme that you can set up and use. I like this theme. Let's see here in the menu. We also have a very similar startup menu just like we have in Windows or if you've ever used Windows you'll uh, definitely be familiar with this kind of uh, the groupings similar groupings that you have in Windows favorites that recently used all's kind of like program files I assume my computer settings graphics and uh, office <laughs> they even call it office here so we got uh, what looks like Word PowerPoint and Excel PDF viewer automatically installed, and then some system tools that we can use as well. A task manager. Let's see what this kind of looks like. Your task manager. This is going to let you kill your processes if there's something gone rogue on you. This looks very similar again to uh, what you would see in Windows. Definitely different than most Linux distributions I so seamless from Windows and then it's kinda of got the taskbar at the bottom you can right click and get some properties and then it comes standard with Mozilla Firefox it has a similar button like it does in Windows it looks like where you can just get all those windows hidden by simply clicking one button let's see so I got a few things open now and I'm just going to hit this button and wow, we're back to the desktop. Awesome. And then you got separate workspaces if you want to work on them. See? So I switched to workspace 2 and now all my applications that I had at the bottom are gone because it's a completely fresh new desktop environment here. AKA workspace. Switch back to workspace 1. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of these things that I got going already so, go back in the terminal here in a moment because I just saw something I want to look through so I'm going to open up the terminal I really enjoy how they put this 
Welcome to Linux Lite 4.6 up here. Gives you the date, time, and uh, how much memory you're using. I didn't really allocate too much memory for this specific distro, but as you can see, this is something unique to Linux Lite. I assume I haven't seen this in any other distro. But it's cool to get a spit out of just some general information as soon as you launch your terminal. Soon commands are and the terminal seems to kind of show you where you're at, what user you're using, and it looks like when you switch between a normal user to a uh, super privileged user, that uh, ch changes and changes the super user into red, and just tells you to be very careful using that user. That's unique too. And then what else we got here? We got the networking settings simple to get to and then our audio settings looks like they installed the LC media player which is a very nice media player to have because it supports almost every file type you can possibly imagine and of course we got our time here at the bottom right and then if we right click again another similar layout to Windows you can create documents create folders uh, looks like you can even create a URL links, so what I think you would call bookmarks. Uh, create launcher, I'm not sure what this is. Let's try it out real quick. Oh, it looks like you could uh, create your own command to launch something, perhaps even a script. This is something unique that I haven't seen before. Open as administrator, same as you would see in Windows. Then we got applications you can run as well. And even log out here. Linux Mint 4.6 seems like a very user friendly distribution and a distribution that would be great for Windows users to go ahead and migrate to if they wanted to kind of keep the look and feel of Windows but have that custom power of Linux. And since it's based off of Ubuntu and seems to follow their releases, you get a very stable Linux distribution to work with here. Overall, if you are a beginner and you would like a similar layout to Windows, this would be a perfect distribution for you. Keep it in mind if you want to go ahead and try Linux for a little bit. It was very easy to install on a virtual machine as well as on a desktop computer. Go ahead and take a minute and like and subscribe if you got some time. It would be greatly appreciated. I do enjoy going through these distributions and kind of giving you a walkthrough and a little bit of a review here before you guys jump into it and install it yourselves. So the last thing I want to explore real quick is just this PC and the file structure here. So if we go into the file system, we got uh, all the typical folders that you would expect for a Linux platform. Uh, the CD-ROM, so mount uh, development devices, so where your devices are located, etc. Home, home folder, libraries, 64-bit libraries, media, um, you got mountable disks, um, the root folder, looks like it has an X by it, must be per something to do with permissions, I'm not exactly sure what this means here. var folder, user folder, temp, uh, temp's a unique one. You can go ahead and put uh, temp files in here and they'll get erased uh, as soon as a reboot happens or at least on most Linux distributions. Uh, the bin folder, uh, plenty of files in here. We'll go back. Uh, the layout here, again, very similar to Windows. And it looks like you can even type in where you're going and it kind of auto fills. This is really something that makes it simple to use and navigate through the file system. Um, I wonder if you hit tab tab whether that does anything. No, it doesn't seem like it does much. Well, it does um, bring down the menu. Oh, no, it doesn't. That's just automatically generated as you're going through. Yeah, we kind of already went through these. So I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Pretty soon I'll be releasing a video on how to go ahead and install Linux Mint 4.6. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please like, subscribe, and comment below. Let me know if I could have added something or subtracted some stuff. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thanks for watching.